Hey, what's up everybody? So tomorrow, an Atlas V rocket will attempt to launch for the United States Air Force Space Command and NASA for the fourth flight of a mysterious X-37B unmanned space plane. New details have emerged as to what the purpose of that space plane is, as well as the secondary payloads that it will take into orbit on this flight. This is your space pod for May 19th, 2015. Although the full purpose of the X-37B has never been fully explained by the United States Air Force, it is at least known that it can carry payloads in its cargo bay and test new technologies in orbit. The previous flights of the X-37B were all long duration flights of several hundred days each, and it's already spent more time in space than the space shuttle has. However, it seems that the previous flights were just to test and check out the vehicle itself, but now experimental payloads can be carried along as well. For this flight, one of the experimental payloads for the Air Force will be testing an upgraded electric propulsion hull thruster, similar to the hull thrusters that they use on their advanced, extremely high frequency communication satellites. Aerojet happens to build the thrusters on those communication satellites, and it's unknown if Aerojet is involved with the improved experimental test or not. Also on this flight will be an experimental payload for NASA. This payload is an advanced materials investigation known as the Materials Exposure and Technology Innovation in Space, or METIS, and it will expose quarter-sized samples of polymers, composites, and coatings to the space environment. Spacecraft designers can use this information to choose the best materials for specific applications, like thermal protection, antennas, or any space hardware really. This experiment builds on the data that was gathered by the Materials on International Space Station experiment, which was gathered between 2001 to 2013. These two payloads are at least the publicly announced payloads that will be carried within the 7 foot long by 4 feet wide cargo bay of the X-37B. However, several CubeSats will also be deployed from a CubeSat launcher known as Ultrasat. 10 CubeSats will be deployed by 8 PolyPico Orbital Deployers, or P-Pods, contained within Ultrasat, and mounted to the aft bulkhead of the single-engine Centaur upper stage used for this mission. Nine of these CubeSats are sponsored by the National Reconnaissance Office and will test propulsion and communication capabilities for CubeSat class vehicles. However, one NASA sponsored CubeSat is the LightSail prototype, which is a privately developed solar sail conceived by the Planetary Society. Solar sails are propelled by photons emitted by the sun and its solar wind. Although that push is minuscule, it is continuous and unlimited, with the potential to push a spacecraft to very high speeds over a long period of time. This prototype will test the spacecraft's systems primarily, testing the solar sail only briefly before it re-enters the atmosphere. A full-on solar sail test will occur on a later flight sometime in 2016 as a secondary payload on a Falcon Heavy rocket. I think that this is incredibly cool, especially because the entire light sail project was funded privately. There's even a Kickstarter campaign ongoing right now to fund construction of the next light sail. They have already reached their goal with 38 days to go and will be able to launch a public relations campaign with all their extra funding. So in summary, I'm very surprised at the transparency about this X-37B mission, which is usually and still is shrouded in secrecy. However, I do hope that all of the goals for these experimental payloads are achieved, and let me know what you think about this mission. I've included some links below that has more information about the payloads if you're interested. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Michael Clark, and don't forget to share this video with your friends so that you too can raise awareness about space. Also, please comment, subscribe, and contribute to our Patreon campaign so that we can continue to bring you space news like this. The next time you guys see me for Throwback Thursday, we're gonna be talking about the X-15 space plane. So until then, thank you again for watching and keep moving onwards and upwards.